All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing after already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So, this is my personal opinion slash review for the 2023 Swedish Netflix horror comedy film called The Conference. Now, here's the plot. A team build, building, a, a team building conference for employees turns into a nightmare when uh, accusations of corruption begin to circulate and plague the work environment. Now here is the cast. Everything about this film pretty much reads like a Bloomhouse film. If they were produced, if they produced it. Uh, campy, corny characters, corny dialogue, and over-the-top gore. Stuff you definitely expect if you've seen a lot of Bloomhouse films. They're kind of kind of corny type of comedy type of knockoffs that are low budget made but then they have that type of high quality look to them now when it came to the characters most were likable except for lena and i think that's her name uh but the unlikable characters are the boss the team leader and the team leader's best friend who was such a tool that he was trying way too hard to be cool and fit in that he was so unlikable. And also him and the team leader definitely have punchable faces and definitely really, really wanted to punch them at certain times, especially towards a certain part. Now, when it comes to side throwaway characters, the four resort characters, actions of them figuring out stuff to uh, amount of unrealistic time in between kills despite it not being that big of an area that they were on and again there was only four of them even some questionable actions from the main characters made me go wow i love the look of the character the killer makes me think what if jason Voorhees and the big boy restaurant mascot had a child kind of like the killer look in happy death day now i haven't seen it in a while but I believe he had that type of uh, jack-in-the-box head on him. Even the killer, killer's kill, as a uh, tongue twister, the killer's kills scenes came off like Friday the 13th inspired. Uh, the scene and the title transitions was very slick and creative, and that was from beginning to end. That's something I really, really liked the most about this film. Now, as for the story, the story was good with a little sluggish to it. Was was very predictable, though. Now, they could have sped up the killing volume more early in the film for a film that is an hour and 40 minutes long. Now, here's my right now. Come back my final thoughts. So, for me, the character's writing and acting was what took away from the film and not in a good way outside of the actress that played Linda and again I don't remember if that's the her character's name um, she did a good job though and she's the only character with normal and good writing and I'm not necessarily surprised as soon as I looked at what else she's been in because she looks familiar her face not her hair uh, and that's because she has her hair in the back uh, pulled back in a, a ponytail and most of the time that when she was the Russian boss and the mob boss and the boys I believe that's what I saw and I will correct myself if not but I believe that's pretty much her and she had an accent in that so that's why I'm not surprised because she was really good at her Russian accent definitely a fun film with a couple of scenes I liked a lot some that was past my comfort zone with the gore unfortunately but i'm definitely mixed on how i feel about it at the moment but what are your guys thoughts there are a lot of stuff about this i liked there were a lot of stuff that i definitely hated um a good equal amount and then there's a couple of gore spots which can go either way depending on how you interpret it i mean i i kind of figured that would have that type of stuff with it but i wasn't a fan of it i don't necessarily would go say that's against the film or the writing uh it was just a little bit overdone and a little bit too graphic for my to my taste um, but props out to the props department for and the makeup department for doing that when it came to the scene where they sewed up his head um 
But yeah, I mean, that is all I got for you guys today. I will help in the, the something, something, something of uh, House Usher. I forgot the full name of it, but it's a series, a horror series that's on Netflix that also came out on Friday along with this film. So I'll be taking a while to a couple of days to check that out because how long the episodes are. And let's see if I can get through it because it, it's going to be one of those huge scary things. But I'm going to try. Um, but I'm going to start that Wednesday and tomorrow's going to be off as always. Um, but in the meantime, remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Remember, always leave a comment no matter what or at least try to leave that and a like. Because comments and likes will help put me into the algorithm and it really helps out. So, um, but I'm not gonna, you know, get mad at you if you don't. So, but I really appreciate if you at least like the video. And I only get four to five of every video. So, um, it's kind of rare to get past that. So, um, but whatever. Um, yeah, so I love you all. Please stay safe. Spread the love most importantly. It's cool.